a little bit in the backyard, and when the sun was just kind of beating on you, it actually felt pretty felt good pretty yesterday. Good. Yeah, I think so too. The sun always helps mm -hmm. out. Uh, today we're going to see a little bit of that sunshine through the first part of the day and then later on <laughs> the clouds will increase but we're still going to be in the mid to upper 40s really for the next three days even though we'll see more clouds. 25 is where we are now with partly cloudy conditions at noon we're going to be up to 39 and 3 o'clock 44 with temperatures still in the low 40s at 5 o'clock with those increasing clouds. And we should become mostly cloudy by the time we get to the end of the day. Our breeze will be coming in from the south-southeast between 5 and 10 miles per hour. Uh, so more clouds today, but temperatures will still be running above normal. We're going to be in the upper fri uh, 40s then for Friday and Saturday, but that is going to come along also with some rain chances. Initially, it's going to be a warm front moving through the area Friday, and then on Saturday, some more energy works through the area, keeping those rain chances high, especially late in the day Saturday. Behind the system, falling temperatures on Sunday with some scattered snow showers possible. We're not expecting any big accumulation from this. It looks like it'll generally be light, but those are the changes we're going to see in the next few days. Right now it's 25 degrees with a southeast wind at 6. Our current wind chill is 18, so even though our air temperatures are not in the teens this morning, it still feels like it if you're standing out in that breeze. Everybody sitting in the 20s and upper teens out there. We have 18 in Richmond, 19 in Spring Field 17 in Troy, 25 here in Dayton, 24 in Xenia, 21 in Urbana, and Bell Fountain is 28 degrees. Satellite radar loop, we've had clear skies through a good part of the overnight. We do have some clouds rolling in from the west, so it is going to be a partly cloudy start from the day. All the precipitation today for our daylight hours stays west of us, but you can see a big storm system rolling across the southern part of the country here with rain ahead of it, so that's what will arrive late tonight into tomorrow morning, and then we'll continue to see the rain chances as that area of low pressure works over the area on Saturday. Here's future track with dry weather expected for your drive to work this morning, even for the lunch hour and coming home just partly sunny, nice and quiet. Tonight, clouds will be thickening, and as we go beyond 3, 4 o'clock tomorrow morning, we'll start to see the rain chance. Now, notice initially, here's 6 o'clock in the morning. On the leading edge of this, we have potentially some freezing rain, especially some of the northern counties. It's going to be a little bit colder, so we could see a brief period where we do have some freezing rain and things get a little bit slick. But elsewhere, it's just going to be rain with temperatures in the mid-30s, and then everyone will transition to rain as that front pops north of us through the day. Still some scattered activity in the afternoon, but there is a better shot in the afternoon hours of Friday to see some more dry time. Today, a partly sunny, chilly afternoon, but well above normal with a high near 44. Tonight, we drop down to 34 with showers arriving late. And tomorrow afternoon, some scattered showers around, especially in the morning and then a few later in the day. We'll be mostly cloudy, but still, we make it to 47 degrees. Your Storm Team 2 seven day forecast Saturday, we push up to 49. Saturday's rain chance looks highest late in the day, so pretty quiet through the morning and early afternoon. And then there's the colder air building in Sunday with a good chance of some scattered light snow showers. Temperatures next week look quite frigid with highs only in the 20s and lows in the teens.